Okay, taking a look at the question from the mock examination, the image on the right shows a modern sculpture in Rotterdam which incorporates intersecting geometric surfaces. The horizontal and vertical coordinates of the two surfaces ABD and ADE are given below. The pictorial view of the two selected surfaces is also, is also given. So we have our coordinates here for all our points. And again, the rule is you measure in, up, and down and you set up the planes ABC and ADE which is the first part of the question there part A. Then we have to get the line of intersection the line where they meet determine the dihedral angle the true angle between the planes and find the true angle between the lines AB and AE. So following the coordinates in the question we set up the planes a, B, C, and A, D, E. And you get those points in elevation, you get those points in plan. Now, in this question, we are not given this line here, and we have to find it, the line of intersection. You need to find that line in order to get the dihedral angle. And to establish that, we draw a horizontal line in the elevation, beginning at D. Now, the line running from D to one is running across the plane ADE. So one is on AE. We bring that down onto AE in plan and join it back to D. So that red line in plan is the horizontal line from the elevation beginning at D and finishing up at one. But also on the same level as that, there's a line going there from three, which is on AC, to two, which is on AB. So where two is there, I bring down to AB in plan, and where three is on AC, I bring that down to AC in plan, and I draw the line. And where those two horizontal lines cross, we have a line that is running across the plane ABC. We have this line running across the plane ADE. So where those two lines cross has to be a point that is common to both planes and if it is common to both planes the line of intersection runs through it so we know a is already common to both planes so where the two lines cross here i draw my line of intersection and that is the line of intersection in plan that line then intersects ed which i bring up to ed in elevation and join back to a now to get the dihedral angle then we have to get the true length of the line of intersection. So coming off the line of intersection at an angle of 90 degrees, I establish um, a new view up here and this is an auxiliary elevation. Projecting from plan at 90 degrees to the line of intersection, this is an auxiliary elevation. We count back one, two XY lines and because this is an elevation, we take our heights into elevation. So you mark the position of all the points A, B, C and E and D, and you connect them together. And then projecting up the line of intersection. Now, the best way of getting this here, if you bring up the line of intersection from plan on E, D, onto E, D in this it is going to cut across this line and it may be very difficult to get an accurate point. So the best thing to do is to take the height there where the line of intersection meets ED, mark it up along one of these projection lines and bring it directly across parallel to the X1, Y1 line. You'll get a much more definite point. And that then gives us the true length of the line of intersection. Now, the line of intersection is on both planes. It is a common line to both planes. And if you look along a true length, planes project as edges. So because that is a true length that is a common to both planes, well, then when we go down to this view down here, both planes appear as edges and hence why we get the dihedral angle. So once you have your true length established here, you extend that down and you bring all the other points with it, you are projecting from an elevation. So this is going to be an auxiliary plan. And again, we count back one XY line and two XY lines. 
This side is the elevation, this side is the plan, so we need to take our distances from the X1, Y1 back into plan. Now there's a lot of unnecessary space, so I've temporarily moved that XY line that it runs through E. And then as you can see, I have E on the X2, Y2 line, and then the remaining distances I take back into plan and I plot them here. And you should find that A, E and D line up and B, A and C line up. And now you have the dihedral angle between uh, the two planes. So this whole construction begins with drawing a horizontal line in elevation because you're looking for a common point. Finding both of those horizontal lines on their respective planes in plan and where the lines cross gives you the common point that you're looking for. And then drawing the line of intersection from A through there. Once we have the line of intersection, which is where one plane intersects the other plane, you have to get the true length of that. To do that, you project off that at 90 degrees, establishes a new view up here in auxiliary elevation, where we see the true length of the line of intersection. And once you have the true length of the line of intersection, that is the true length of a line that is common to both planes. So when we project it down here, we get a view where the planes appear as edges. And if the planes appear as edges, you see the true angle between them. And, and finally, what then um, the last part of the question asks us to get the true angle between the lines AB and AE. Now I've drawn a green line there between B and E, so that turns the plane, turns um, those lines into a plane. So I have A, B, E is now a plane. And I have drawn a horizontal line from E across the plane. That is a level line, a horizontal line, and that gives me a point here on AB called Q. And I draw and I drop that down into plan. And the horizontal line started at E and goes to Q. So it starts at E and goes to Q in plan. Now that there is my horizontal line. It is a true um, because it's a horizontal line in elevation, it's a true length in plan. And if it is a true length, if I project along this line, so the direction of a true length, because I am looking along a true length of a line that is on this plane A, B, E, this plane should appear as an edge. So we project in line with the line EQ and you bring A and B with you set up our x3 y3 line at 90 degrees and again we're projecting from plan so this is an elevation and we take our heights from the elevation and you can see we now have um, a view of the plane aeb as an edge now in order to see the true angle between ae and ab you need to get the true shape of this plane in order to do that, you project off the plane at an angle of 90 degrees. So you're looking in here now at an angle of 90 degrees and we're projecting off A, E and B. We establish another X, Y line and because we're projecting from an elevation, this is going to be an auxiliary plan. So again, we count back one, two X, Y lines and I take my distances back into plan. So the distance from the X3, Y3 line back to A and back to B and back to E. And I plot those up here and that now gives me the true shape of the plane A, E and A, B. And as a result then, this angle between the two lines, that there is the true angle and that completes the question.